Ciao guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is December 2022 and everyone is talking about this new tool called ChatGPT that even Elon Musk has described as scary good. And you might ask yourself, so what? For those of you who are new here, I'm Laura, and well, I will leave here in the screen the agenda for today, but mainly we are gonna talk about how data analysts and data scientists can use ChatGPT in their day to day. And actually this will be applicable to many other jobs as well. And so if any of this sounds interesting, make sure to stick around till the end and well, let's not waste any more time and let's get started. So let's first start to understand what is ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is a conversational AI model, which is basically able to engage with human-like conversations and will provide answers to questions and even generate original content. And actually this little introduction was written by ChatGPT itself with just a little prompt. So simply put, this is just a chat where you can type whatever question you have and this app will provide you with the answer. And while it reached 1 million users in only five days after its release, and just to put everything into perspective, this is the amount of time that took other apps to reach the same 1 million milestone. And while ChatGPT uh, has been developed by OpenAI, which is a company that was founded in 2015 by Altman, Elon Musk, and other Silicon Valley investors. And while Elon Musk recently stepped down from the board, just because there was a conflict of interest between what OpenAI was doing and the research that Tesla was doing for autonomous driving. But today he's still a key investor in the company and he obviously share all the excitement for this new app. Let's now quickly understand how ChatGPT works. So ChatGPT uses what is called the GBT 3.5 language technology, which is basically a huge AI language model that has been trained using a massive amount of text data from different sources. So let's now see how we can all use this new app. So ChatGPT is still in research review phase, which means that users can sign up and use it free of charge. And well, I will leave in the video description the link to access ChatGPT, and all you need is your name, your email, and your phone number for verification. And now let's go to the juicy part of the video and see how ChatGPT can become super useful to both data analysts and data scientists. So the first use case is to use ChatGPT to write codes. And let me know if you share the same uh, thought as me, but I'm completely mind blown by this one. So here I ask ChatGPT to write a Python code to basically manage my finances, uh, starting from a CSV file with all of my transactions. And yeah, the result is just shocking. So as you can see, ChatGPT is giving me the full code to basically build this little uh, project that I asked. And the thing that I also really love about this is that it gives me exactly the comment for each section of the code to make it super clear what each section is doing. Something that I tried as well is actually ask ChatGPT to debug some of my codes. And well, actually, I think this is kind of a limitation because I haven't received any answer from the app. The second use case is to use ChatGPT to learn. And so for example, here I asked the app to tell me in Excel how to find duplicates between two columns. And well, again, it gave me a few methods. So either using the countif function or even the VLOOKUP. So again, very satisfied with the answer. And then I even asked ChatGPT to tell me all the machine learning models available. And obviously the answer was super comprehensive. And then I also asked a list of resources to learn SQL from scratch. And again, you know, very, very good answer. I also tried to ask in the chat to give me a summary of a book and specifically um, storytelling with data. But again, uh, there was no answer for that question. So yeah, maybe another limitation here. Another very interesting use case is to explain your code. So here I try to put in the chat a SQL script that I found online. And I asked ChatGPT to explain each line and section. And again, really shocked by the result because ChatGPT was able to detect the different section of the code and explain me exactly what each section was doing. So again, something that probably I will use a lot because uh, it can just save me a lot of time. And well, another use case, very, very interesting here, is to generate project ideas for your data analytics portfolio. So for example, here I asked the chat to give me some project ideas for both a data scientist, and here you have the answer pretty satisfied, 
and also for a data analyst as well. And what's something that I definitely will use in the future is to generate email drafts. And so for example, here I asked the chat to generate an email draft that I should send to my manager about my recent uh, data analysis task. Something else to try is definitely using the chat to generate ideas based on whatever problem you're trying to solve. And so for example, here you see me asking the chat to give me ideas on how to analyze spending trends in Europe. And again, quite satisfied with the answer. And then something else that you might want to try is to use the OpenAI app for basically career advices. And so for example, here I ask the chat which tool I should start learning if I want to become a data analyst. And again, the answer is pretty good. Here are a few limitations for this use case. So I try to ask the chat to review my CV and unfortunately I didn't get any answer for that. And also I asked the chat to give me a list of job postings in London for data analyst and data scientist. And again, I didn't receive any result. And well, let's conclude this video with some final thoughts. So will AI replace humans? Well, I asked precisely that to ChatGPT, and this is the answer. And so my personal opinion about ChatGPT, well, obviously it's not perfect, but the thing is that if I think about the Google search that I'm doing at the moment, you know, I go on the web page, I search for something, and then I need to scroll down to different pages, find uh, maybe one web page, maybe that's not really what I want, so I need to find something else. So pretty convenient, but still a bit time consuming. Whereas really the value of ChatGPT is really, you know, typing your question and having your answer straight away. So maybe it will revolutionize how we search online, but we will see. And well, if you enjoy this video, share some love, put a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And well, enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.